You better believe it. As I've made you aware, and as has happened over the years, a mate from Canberra calls me nearly every fucking day without fail. Every fucking day. Like, my, like he's my mother. Since fucking 2006, five, something like that. And well into seven, eight, but still calls nearly every day. Sometimes he used to call ten times a day. But he always sends stuff I want, reports. Uh, sending me police reports is a popular thing. Um, he's allowed to. It's actually not a crime because in his position, he's allowed to send whatever the fuck he likes to anybody. As long as it's not disclosed, put over the internet and all that sort of stuff. So what have New South Wales Police got in their reports about me? Uh, like I said before, I've only read like two or three hundred pages of... Well, it's probably about fucking ten or twenty thousand pages worth of reports concerning my person. And there's nothing in my criminal record. Like barely anything. Can you fucking believe that? Um, the worst of the worst. Your Ivan Malats only have a few hundred pages, if not fucking twenty or thirty. They've got so many fucking reports on my person, and uh, <laughs> there's nothing in my fucking criminal record. Oh, you might have something lately if I get put before the courts because of fucking chicken nibblies and some fucking cheap clothing I need to stay alive. But come on. No, I, I really, I've only read a few hundred pages of reports. It's just too much. And, and the way I read things, I scour them. I fucking thoroughly read shit. Um, not in an anal way, but in a way that you've got to be meticulous. Uh, so that's the architect of me. But in general, I have a very loose attention. A good type of attention. One that just looks for, looks for things that are relevant. But when I need to... When I find what's relevant, that's when I really look into it. And I've only had to go over two or three hundred of them and just to know that it's all blabbering bullshit. But, I'll, as you can imagine, with so many other pages left, so many pages left, if not more than that, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, there's always something new popping up. It, th these aren't from Asia. These aren't from... This is not military intelligence. This is not uh, AFP. It's not anything. It's... It's just the New South Wales Police. It's like they're fascinated with me. And these are mostly written by detectives. They're not written by uh, normal cops. They're almost, uh, I dare say nearly all of them, if not all of them, is written by detectives in around the same area. And they're always conspiracy, batshit crazy conspiracy fucking theories. They're a bunch of fucking nut jobs. Just from one extreme to another. Um, I dare say they get that from Asia to some regard. I, the, the fucking scum network in the, uh, within them, the, the goons I call them, not the good guys I'm affiliated with, but uh, I'm not going to go there, again that does not mean I work there or I've ever worked there so don't get ideas but it, it could be that those goons in Asia who would egg in the morning and telling them what reports to write there, but it, it, the point is it comes from New South Wales cops, it's got every, it's got their fucking uh, signature to it, it's got <laughs> But this is what I'm getting to. This is their, well, I won't say latest theory. This is this was actually written uh, 11 years ago. So I was in, I was almost in my late, I was, wasn't far from my late teens. It was around that era, around my late teens, early 20s. So it was about 11 years ago. Uh, some, somewhere there about. And have a go at this. You ready? If I'm left to my own devices, I will probably take over the country. You do not know how much, how eager I am to show you the actual fine print. But if I do that, I get in big trouble. I don't get in, you can't get in any trouble if you don't release these classified documents there's a loophole i'm allowed to, i'm allowed to talk about them it's it's a fucking weird loophole but i my friend explained it to me uh, succinctly once and i i get things succinctly immediately when you start blabbering on like a cockhead it just goes out through from one ear to the other and i don't listen to a fucking word you say which has got nothing to do with me being inattentive it just means you're being a fucking idiot but when someone's explained something succinctly and robustly and sensically with reason valid reason I understand it straight away. So when my friend explained to me, who the bloke from Canberra who calls me all the time, when he explained to me that, that loophole 
means they can do fuck all. It means I can talk about it all day, every day. Particularly because they did the very, very wrong thing in 2014 and they know it. Anyway, I'm not going to go there. But that's what they've got in their fucking records. If I am left to my own devices, I will take over the country. It doesn't say... it. Do, it this isn't an official report. A police report. So it doesn't say... It, you don't put sarcasm in there. Did, did, were they being indirect? Were they employing English uh, language devices? I've never been a New South Wales detective. Uh, but if I'm correct, you're not allowed to use that sort of uh, language in, a, uh, in an official report, in an, in an official capacity, ever. It has to be in clear English as a statement uh and all that sort of stuff everything everything that that's written in that capacity has to be clear and concise if it's an internal memoir because it actually could be the way this data's siphoned through his computer it could be an internal memoir uh, i haven't gone through that i i could ask him and we could confirm it there's no doubt about that but you have to go through their computers you have to fucking confirm this cross-reference that and fuck that I'm, i don't care I'm, I'm not here to hack anybody. I just, this is just this concerns me and what they've got to say about me in an official ca police capacity. So whether it's an internal memoir or official report is yet to be fully confirmed. It looks like it's a style of report. It's written in report style, but it could be an internal memoir. If it's an internal memoir, you, you don't take it literally. Like you, If I'm left to my own devices, I'll take over the entire country. could just mean that I'll run amok and that I'm a, I'm a fucking handful. You need to write ten to twenty thousand pages of documents over fucking twenty years to describe that? No, especially if the only fucking thing I've got in my criminal record is from when I was a teenager being a silly cunt, and potentially what I'll have for chicken nibblies. <laughs> but anyway, if I'm left to my own devices, I'll take over the entire country. Do I look like somebody who can take over the entire country, or will? Oh, for fuck's sake. I've never heard anything funnier. What do they want me to do with 250... Oh, I don't think it's 256 bucks now. I think it's like 244. I think I bought a fucking V the other... A Red Bull the other day. Anyway. Well, how, how am I going to take over the country with 200 and something bucks? Are these cunts fucking nuts? Or is it that they've just never written in their memoirs, which I'm alluding... Which is why I like to take so long on my videos like this. Is it just that... They've never been able to come out with it, they're just racist flogs, instead of writing fucking fanciful stories, if left to his own devices, he'll fucking take over the whole country, he didn't say, obviously didn't speak in first person, he didn't say, if I'm left to my own devices, it referred to him, so in the actual uh, report, possibly memoir, it says, if he is left to his own devices, he'll take over the whole country, I think that's fucking hilarious, I mean, You've got Anthony Albanese as the fucking Prime Minister at the moment. It's true, I was called Nathan uh, Bill and... Uh, Nathon I was actually called Nathoni from my friends. <laughs> don't know why they used to call me Nathoni and uh, Bill and Easy. So that doesn't help. Um, and, believe it or not, my first cousin... Oh, my first cousin second cousin is a Dutton. I'm not going to say his first name because he's got a good plumbing business and everybody loves him. Rightfully so. Uh, and then it doesn't help because he's my second cousin, Mr. Dutton. Who I used to fuck around with every day when I was at, when I was plumbing, <laughs> uh, leaving fucking nineties and forty fives or boxes of nineties and forty fives on his roof. Cousins, we, we never change. We were fucking belting each other since kids. Obviously, I'd always win. No, but it doesn't help either because you, know, you look at the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the opposition leader and it's Peter Dutton <laughs> and he's a split image of my second cousin <laughs> so is this what they were fucking alluding to is this how I was supposed to take over the whole fucking country <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck this is just some funny shit <clears throat> have a look at the terror oh sorry I better I better calm down and behave myself uh, anyway it's fucking hilarious. I mean, they're fucking, their memoirs make me laugh. Why don't they just write, we're racist cunts? 
I mean, yeah, again, you got those coincidences, sheer coincidences that you just got an uh, Albanese, where I used to be called a Villanese, and you've got a Dutton who's also ha who also happens to be my second cousin, a fucking split image of him. Yeah, fair enough, you've got those coincidences, but that's just coincidences. Do you really think those memoirs written about 11 years ago hold any ground? Do I look like fucking somebody? Do I look capable enough to take over an entire country? Keeping in mind I've got 244 bucks. And this is Australia we're talking about. Australia's a big country. Australia's fucking 7.6 something million square kilometres. Is that including Antarctica? I don't know, I'll fucking ring Pingu and ask him. But yeah, it's a big country. So it's a, there's a lot to take over. If left to my own devices. Why don't they just say we don't want to leave him to his own devices? We're racist cunts. We just don't want to see him fulfil his potential because he makes us look like fuckwits. I don't make, write something like that. And I'm not big noting myself. I mean, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a truth teller, so I, I acknowledge that I may have gifts and talents and be very capable in many things. I, I am. I mean, it's... I, I'm a person of matter of fact. A person of matter of fact. In other words, I just deal with facts. And if I say something like I'm highly capable, it's because I am. I mean, you only have to look at my luminosity scores, which I fucking posted the other day. And I've got the top eight scores in the world out of 20 or 30 million users so clearly my cognition is better than 20 million or so users of luminosity in those games it must mean i'm good at something so and obviously they know that because i always used to get tested as a child for my intelligence for some fucking weird reason without my me knowing it um with all those weird reports from the schools nothing to do with the uh, special ed or anything i was always in advanced classes but uh not mostly in advanced classes but Fuck, is that where they're getting their fucking ideas from? Is, is, is it just they don't want to admit that, you know, we're a bunch of fucking racist cunts. We don't like it that you're representing your heritage and not ours. And we, we just want people to be a bunch of white cunts and proud. Why don't they just admit that? Why don't they just say that fucking Nathan doesn't have an English surname and if he does better than our fucking kids... He makes us look like fucking hobbits. I mean, it was suggested to me by Asia a few years back that I changed my surname to some fucking English surname. So, and there you go. Now you might know why I give it to English surname so much. What a fucking crock of shit. That I fucking changed my name to an English surname. That they could have... I could change my name to fucking Molesky or some fucking European surname. Fucking Bob Lobdob or anything. Why an English surname? What should I fucking have all surnames? Unbelievable. So again, I'm, as I like to do in the longer videos, it's either I'm succinct or I like to roll, beat the drum slowly, but sensically. And that's one of these ones. I'll, do, I'll say it again. If left to his own devices, he will take over the country. Are you fucking serious? Whoa, fucking stealing chicken nibblies and fucking shirts. You fucking bunch of drunk cunts.